looking at somewhere in the region of 44 million workers are affected with muscle skeletal disorders and back injuries across the whole of Europe. And that amounts to somewhere in the region of 240 billion pounds to the European economy as lost productivity and income. The project Excelerate is about the adoption of exoskeleton suits in industry, in particular construction and manufacturing. We've been conducting a series of field labs and pilot sites. So the, the field labs have been able to gather a lot of data, there have been a lot of measurement studies on range of movement. And the pilot sites, or, or, or trials as we call them, is more about taking the suits out to the workplace so that we can get some evidence and feedback from the individuals wearing the suits, undertaking their un normal everyday work. Certainly, like people like that work in brick lane and things like that would be very helpful because they're bending down all the time and lifting, lifting bricks up. When you're actually on site, how how does it function? Is it going to be able to be adapted into the workplace as an aid or as a bit of PPE? Some of the support it gives you is very, very good. It saves your back if you're lifting all day, every day. Really could open up opportunities for the whole workforce. People are getting less injuries at work. This project's funded by Interreg. It's a European funded project and we're working with 13 other partners across uh, six North Sea region countries in Europe. University of Strathclyde, the Department of Manufacturing and Engineering Management and National Manufacturing Institute of Scotland collaborated with BEST on this project. We brought experience in human-machine robotic interfaces as well as experience on metrology and measurement and design engineering. The next stage is pulling all this information together. It's really about building up that exoskeleton ecosystem and then being able to share the information. As part of the consortium and the Interreg group, we generate reports and this will then be used to disseminate to industry. So things like the design improvement work that we've gathered, we're able to then feed back to manufacturers and then they're able to adopt and adapt these into future design and iterations so that they can better cater to the needs of the construction sector. We're aware of the issues within construction when it comes to health and safety. So any way we can protect and engage and inform the industry to protect their workers can only benefit the industry as a whole.